Hello, Sindh Pai, and welcome to my channel, Complemental Economics. And today's topic: Elasticity of Demand. Whenever I talk about, yeah, we usually talk about elasticity of demand. Demand. You have to remember elastic. What is elastic? Usually, we use it, use it like rubbers or something like that. That's nothing but elastic. When you give more pressure, it will be expanded more. If you give a lesser pressure, the expansion will be less. It will be contracted. So this way, your hand pressure makes the rubber to expand and contract. So the same way, demand and the price, yeah, any other variables, when they are changing, definitely demand will be expanded and contracted. How much demand is increasing? How much demand is decreasing? How much demand is responding for its uh, determinants? If we measure that, that is called elasticity of demand. So let me talk about uh, elasticity of demand in technical terms of economics. When it comes to the relationship, just imagine we are going to talk about the relationship between two variables. The two variables you can talk about that is, for an example, price and the demand. If you are talking about the price and demand relationship, so in this, what is the responsiveness of a demand whenever price changes? Whenever price changes, demand is also going to change because price is the independent variable and demand is the dependent variable. Whenever independent variable changes, the dependent variable which is demand is also going to change. How much it is going to change? How much it is going to respond when price changes? If we measure that, so that is called elasticity of demand. It is not only the price. So many determinants we have like price, price of related goods. Goods, income of the consumer, taste and preferences, advertisement. So these ways, so many things are there which influences the demand. Whenever these all changes, automatically demand is going to change. How much demand is going to change? How it's going to respond? If we measure, that's called elasticity of demand. So here, let's talk about the first one, which is price and the demand. Let me talk about the few of the example. So through few ex ex examples, you will understand what exactly I'm trying to say. Just imagine, I am taking an example of headphones. When it comes to headphones, first price was 500 rupees. Now, the price got decreased to 400. When price was 500, this is a price. When price was 500, the demand of a headphone, it was only 100. Now, the price got decreased because of that 150 headphones are demanded. Now, the price is, sorry, it's not 100. Oh, yeah. Uh, when price was 500, it's demanded 100 of headphones. When price was 400, the demand for headphones got increased. When price is decreasing, demand for a headphone it is increasing when it was 500 we demanded only 100 headphones when price got decreased like 100 rupees reduction which is 400 rupees 50 extra units are demanded 100 it was there like 150 extra we demanding the headphones so only 100 rupees change 50 extra 50 percent of extra demand we got it let's talk about the wheat now when we talk about the wheat First, just go with uh, per kg wheat price was 200 rupees, uh, sorry, 20 rupees per kg. Now it decreased to 18 rupees. Let's see how quantity demand got changed. When price was 10, 20, we demanded 500 kgs. When price got decreased to 18 rupees, we started demanding 520 kg. How many kgs got increased? Only 20 kg. How much price got decreased? 2 rupees. How much price change? 100 rupees. How much the demand got increased? 50 extra units. We'll talk about the third example. Third example is salt. The salt first price was, okay, let me conclude it here only. The salt price it was 9 rupees. Then it decreased to 7 rupees 50 paisa. And let's talk about the salt demand. First it was 1000, 1000 kg. Now price decreased. So demand got increased to 1005. What is the 
units got increased five units what is the price got changed it's one rupee ten paisa so this way can you see differentiation here hundred rupees changed but only 50 units got increased two rupees got changed 20 kg got increased here only one rupee 10 rupees got changed five units got increased so each and every time it is not uniform each and every time every good behave in a very different manner whenever price changes for that reaction of a demand for each good it will be completely different if we measure this what is the response can you see the response here when it comes to salt when it comes to demand when it comes to headphones the response rate of a consumer for each good when price changes it is completely different completely different if we measure this what is the responsiveness of any determinant when uh, any of the determinant is going to change how demand is going to react and how much it is going to react if we measure so that will be called as a degree of responsiveness how much it is changing if we measure that's called degree of responsiveness usually the elasticity we measure in terms of percentage what is the percentage of price is changing what is the percentage of demand is responding for that so that's called elasticity usually we call it as elasticity of demand so this is not a very big uh, understanding or something like that uh, we usually the elasticity of topic elasticity of demand usually we measure in terms of the percentage wise how much percentage of price is changing what is the percentage of quantity demand is going to change if we measure that's called elasticity of demand we have one more way that is called coefficient of elasticity what is coefficient of elasticity coefficient of elasticity is nothing but when proportionate change here we are going to talk about proportionate change the proportionate change in the dependent variable dependent variable is what demand and by the proportionate change in the independent variable what is the independent variable price that means when demand is going to change how much it is changing proportionately because of the price price is also changing proportionately if we measure proportional changes that will be called coefficient of elasticity in short we can say elasticity of demand is nothing but the responsiveness of the quantity demanded of a good to change in one of its variables on which demand is dependent one of the variable it can be price price of the related goods income of the consumer taste and preferences advertisement so many other things like this we have so many uh, elasticities in future we're going to talk about the first one is the price elasticity cross elasticity income elasticity advertisement elasticity elasticity of substitution so this way so many different uh, substitute so many different elasticities we're going to talk in the next videos thank you so much if you really understanding my videos if you really liking please subscribe and share thank you so much